Hello, I heard everyone here with more Nameless. We just witnessed a really good episode of a soap opera. <laughs> I left the infirmary and closed the door. Mr. Eugen and Beatrice will probably share each other's passion until lunchtime comes. <sighs> it looks like it'll be a tough day. Let's just go to class. I walked towards the classroom already exhausted. Are her eyes on fire? Yeah, there is a fire burning in her eyes. <laughs> oh, that? Oh, maybe her eyes just normally look like that. <laughs> I swear, I just saw the flames crackling in her eyes. It's nothing. It's what it. It's what it is. Mr. Yuri's limo broke down, so everyone came separately. So many car problems. Why are you asking? Dreams? So his eyes were serious. She bore no shame about what just came out of her mouth. I don't know, and I don't care. I won't be taking a limo anyways. I realized after taking a bus this morning. I think I'm better off just taking a bus. I'm tired of everyone staring at me. I don't think I'll ride it even if it gets fixed. Well, I don't really... Zoe slouched her shoulders. On the other hand, Shinbi quietly patted me on the back. I honestly feel much better on the bus than in the limo. Shinbi seemed to choke up a bit and stroked my hair. So he scolded me with a weak voice. <laughs> my chance. I smiled awkwardly. But something bothered me more than being teased as the maid or taking the bus to school. Did Yuri come to school okay? I kept thinking about him saying he never wanted to win over someone's heart. After that, I kept on feeling frustrated and sorry for some reason. And I kept thinking about him saying he feels special about me. But I don't know what what I feel right now. Yan Ho looked uncomfortable surrounded by the girls. It was a familiar scene, but everyone looked more enthusiastic than usual. Huh? Is some is there something going on today? I'm sure he really appreciates that. <laughs> I nodded at what Shimbi said. Come to think of it, I thought Soli would go to Tay's class first. Surprising. She's, she's very strategic. So he took out two tickets from her pocket and gave us a creepy smile. What concert is it? 
I still have a concert title on the tickets. Let's see. Classical concert for pregnant woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what Zoe's planning, but I hope Tay's safe. The daily war has started again. I'll get to miss this when I graduate. I stood far from the corner by myself and was thinking about the far future. Oh, oh boy. I turned around and saw a familiar face. Oh, Red, are you here for lunch? Oh, I was about to eat, but... I was about to eat now, but I don't think I can. The cafeteria was about to explode. I found myself sighing. <laughs> I agree. Yuri came and stood behind us. Oh, Mr. Yuri, are you planning to jump into the cafeteria war? Huh? That's what I was thinking, that I gotta be with Beatrice. Oh, right! I completely forgot. How could you forget? I was supposed to watch the infirmary when he left for his blind date. To be more exact, I was supposed to watch Beatrice. I forgot! Ah! I, I don't know. I evaded. Mr. Eugen didn't tell me to keep it as a secret. But it was his personal business, so I didn't want to blab about it. Red treated Yuri like a friend as always. I hurriedly looked around. Thankfully, the cafeteria was too hectic for anyone to notice. Yuri didn't care about it too and answered. <laughs> oh, whoops, ah, jeez. <laughs> Red looked as if he couldn't even imagine. <laughs> He actually looks good if you see him in person. I don't know the exact details, but I just thought if Mr. Yujin dressed up like that every day, he might be able to compete with Mr. Yuri. <laughs> sure has a lot of confidence. Here we go again. You're his favorite thing to say. You two, please stop. I'm here too, you know. Two boys who look like they've just come out of a TV are bickering about who's better. This is just torture. As a plain maid, I will now go run my errand. I don't need more lip service. I know well how plain I am. I'll head off. I have to follow Mr. Eugen's orders. I say bye to both of them and headed to the infirmary. Thought I heard the two of tell thought I heard the two tell me something, but I couldn't hear them properly due to the noise in the cafeteria. Come to think of it, I'm surrounded by enormous people like Zoe, Shimbi, and the Vodes boys. Am I the most plain among all of them? 
felt a bit better. Maybe I was made to run errands or be a maid. Well, it's nothing new. Oh, Mr. Eugen will be back. Let's hurry to the infirmary. I really wanted to have a nice chat with Beatrice. I'm kind of disappointed. Ugh, my whole body hurts from going through all that in the morning. I'm glad I'm early. I want to rest. I sat on the desk and looked around. Oh, it's raining outside. The room was a mess from hurrying out in the morning. All the drawers I opened to find my socks were still open. My clothes were scattered all around the place. Yanho offered to help me clean clean up, but I refused. Although we live in one house, I never want them to see this mess. Let's finish cleaning in the weekend and just take care of the big things for now. Or I organized whatever came into my hands and cleaned the room. Oh, what do I do with all these? I look at the pile of shopping bags beside my bed. Can't return them now, but I can't really wear them. Picked up one of the shopping bags. And it was the blouse Yuri said was pretty, but... Yuri said it looked good on me, but this doesn't suit someone plain like me. It would look good on someone like Soe or Shinbi. I didn't want to belittle myself, but it was true. Huh. <sighs> Thinking about it will only make me gloomy. I've been becoming conscious of my looks a lot these days. I shook my head and tried to get rid of those thoughts. Let's just finish cleaning up. I went back to cleaning my room. Huh? You hear something tapping the window. I opened the curtains and look outside. Wow, it's dark. The sky was completely covered with rain clouds. Surprisingly, at that moment, it started to rain. It's been raining for a while now. <laughs> what's, with all the, what's with the rain all of a sudden? It's raining hard. Seeing the clouds, it looks like it'll rain for a while. Oh, do they have umbrellas? I felt worried and texted everyone. Does everyone have an umbrella? Question mark. And send button. Alright. They replied first. Does everyone have an umbrella? The manager is lending me one. Yanho's with me too. Look at this. Everyone have an umbrella? Everyone have an umbrella? I have an umbrella? You have an umbrella? You have an umbrella? I just wanted to get rid of all the little thingamajiggies. Because it bothers me. <laughs> and then, of course, it's just going to open them all up anyway. Master, I'm at Banjul with some friends and drinking tea. Do you want to come? No. Gonna have to click on that every time. Hmm. He's asking me to come to Banjul? Uh, I can never go. It's only been a couple days since people stopped calling me the maid. I don't want people to misunderstand again. Red's reply came soon. He's in the drama club? Wait, wait, why haven't I- Well, probably because I'm not dating him, but... Oh, that's cool. Drama club president says he'll lend me one. Saved. I smiled at Red's emoticon. Come to think of it, Red was completely focused on preparing for the festival with the drama club. I think he said the play ha was an action hero story. Anyways, I'm glad Red borrowed an umbrella, too. Now Tay, Yanho, and Red are fine. How are Lance and Yuri? Well, I was thinking, Lance texted me back. Packed an umbrella after reading the weather after reading the rebel report today. So responsible. I mean yesterday. It was yesterday. That was so Lance. It was just a text, but I feel like I could see his face. I can just imagine him looking annoyed. Since I talked uh, with Lance, Yuri's the only one left. I'll wait a bit more, and if I still don't get a text, I'll call him. I sat on my bed for a while and looked at the shopping bags. The window shook at the heavy raindrops. I think there's wind now. The windows reflected. The window reflected my worried face. All right, I'll call Yuri. Dialed, but he didn't pick up. The day was getting darker. Ooh. Choice. And save over that. Stay at home or take an umbrella to Yuri. <laughs> I might be worrying too much, but it's better than staying anxious at home. I grabbed the extra umbrella at the front door and left the house. Of course, there will be a lot of girls willing to lend him an umbrella, but yes, just in case. I stepped out into the windy rain. 
Ooh, nice rain effect. Ran to the bus station, fighting uh, through the heavy rain pour. It was still raining cats and dogs, and I could barely see because of it. I barely got the bus got on the bus, but the road was slippery, so it arrived at the academy later than usual. My clothes got wet despite the umbrella, but I didn't mind at all. I was too too worried about Yuri. <laughs> Worried. I only hear silence at the academy. Uh, there was no one in the playground. I guess everyone's at home now. I went through a silent playground and entered the building. Yuri would probably be in the music room, right? Huh? The door's open. The hallway was very dark because of the clouded sky. So the fluorescent lights peeping through the door of a music room seemed much brighter than usual. Thank God, Yuri must be in the music room. I'm glad we didn't miss each other. Oh man, I feel like we're gonna stumble in on something crazy. I don't know. I slowly opened a door. Yuri? Oh, no. Ooh! No, not crazy, just something really nice. <laughs> I abruptly stopped while calling his name. Oh. Yuri was wearing his glasses. I don't see glasses. And playing the piano while staring at the sheets. Oh, that's so nice. Aw, oh, man. I think I'll stay still. But I'm gonna save, because it makes me feel better. I'm gonna stay still. The beautiful melody rang through a music room. So beautiful. Rain was pouring outside, but this felt like a completely different world. Felt like I was just moved through dimensions like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Yuri kept stopping mid-play to jot down something on the sheets. Never seen him so focused on something. In my mind, Yuri was always the one to play mean jokes, and he always laughs at my response. So, the Yuri I'm seeing right now felt so strange, and... My heart's beating fast for some reason. Seeing him like this, I thought he really is a mature man. I remember the day I purchased Yuri. They said he's the adult doll that will become a perfect man for every woman. They were correct. Yuri checked his notes and suddenly raised his head. Ah. The melody stopped. Yuri took his hands off the keys and looked at me surprisingly. But the sound was so pretty. I felt bad to see him stop playing and I approached Yuri. I was worried because you didn't take my call. Yuri took out his phone from his pocket. Yeah, it's me. Yuri, you're the one who gave me the phone so we can contact each other easily. Now you're the one that's hard to reach. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Yuri backed away and said, But he still didn't forget to give me a wink. Wow, that doesn't seem like you to say that. To be self-aware. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Okay. So is that why you're barely a step away from me and giving me a wink? Uh, anyways. I realized Yuri wasn't being serious and gave him a disapproving look. Why are you playing the piano if you're preparing for the, if you're preparing the exam? You want to quiz us on composing? You know how to play the piano? Well, you're kind of just doing it. <laughs> Yuri said confidently. Felt like there are many things I still didn't know about Yuri. I looked around the dark music room. But do you know it's pouring outside? Did you bring an umbrella? 
Yuri grinned, completely ignorant of how much I worried. Yuri approached me with his usual smile. He looked happy for some reason. I lost words at his attitude. What, what are you talking about? I was just passing by. But that's... Oh. I looked at my hands and saw each of them... I looked at my hands and saw each of them clutching onto a small umbrella. One of the two of, was the one I used on my way here, so it was dripping wet. And the other was the one I brought for Yuri. I was startled and stuttered at being caught red-handed. So, so, um, actually... <laughs> Yuri smiled with his eyes. He pretended to take the umbrella, but took my hands. L let me go. I ended up shouting to hide my embarrassment. Ah, so embarrassing. The place Yuri touched feels hot for some reason. Yuri led me to the piano chair, and he took out a couple glasses from the equipment cabinet near the door. Yuri skillfully opened a small thermal bottle on the piano. The cup was steaming. Oh, this is... Steam warmed my body, and at the same time, I smelled a familiar scent. The scent was familiar. This is... Yuri handed me a glass. Yuri sat beside me on the piano chair. My cold body slowly warmed up. Is it because of a hot tea, or is it because of Yuri sitting beside me? I sipped the tea and glimpsed at Yuri beside me. This... were you drinking this the whole time? Carrying it in a thermal bottle? Since when? I didn't get any answers and just sipped but my tea. Ah. The warm drink flowed down my throat and spread warmth throughout my body. And I did feel a bit embarrassed about asking so many questions all at once. Yuri was quietly staring at me. What? When I was about to raise my head at his voice, something wet touched my cheek. Ah, he smooched me! Ah! I quickly backed away from Yuri. Felt like my face was on fire. I was startled and the cup in my hand shook. <laughs> Thankfully, Yuri held me and stopped the hot tea from spilling. As I stammered with my face all red, Yuri started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> His voice is so cute when he's laughing. Y you, you scared me! Don't joke around! I, I almost spilled the tea. I used the tea as an excuse. I kept thinking about how Yuri kissed my cheek. <laughs> Look at his blushy face! Strangely calmed down after seeing Yuri laugh it off. Quickly changed the subject. But, but more than that, I didn't know you liked Secret Garden this much. You must really like this scent. Yuri made a strange face at what I said. Darling, what? Then why? <laughs> Mama <laughs> Tay! <laughs> Yuri opened the eyes he closed for a while. R really? He must get gifts from his colleagues and students all the time. Does he mean what he just said? And he's saying t tea leaves are special when he rides in an incredibly expensive limousine. Couldn't help myself and finally asked Yuri. I'm not the only one who gives you gifts. You must get much better gifts from other people. 
Yuri and I caught eyes. I want to ask why it's special. I want to know why. He says only the gifts I give are special. But this face was... But his face was right in front of mine, and I just felt too embarrassed to ask. I decided to leave before I start feeling more weird. But then I'll get going. I'll leave the umbrella here to use it when you come back. I put the cup on the piano and tried to hurry and leave. Yuri grabbed my arm. Something for me? What is this? Nameless performance? Yuri took out a piece of paper from his jacket. Let's see, what is... Guitar Daydream Lance? What? <laughs> what is this? Ticket? Why are you... Concert is this weekend. Yuri's name clearly printed on his ticket. And what's more, he was listed as the band's drummer. Are you performing? No. Oh, that. I didn't have anything else, but I was flustered at the son's suggestion. A concert? And you're playing the drums? Drums? Probably. Yuri smiled and stood up. As Yuri stood up, I had to raise my head and to look at him. Yuri instead looked down to stare at me, and he gave me his usual smile. <laughs> Yuri's eyes were kind. I ended up avoiding his gaze, feeling embarrassed. I, I don't know. I might make it, and I might not. We are going. I really want to see his drums. Yuri looked outside the window. The cloudy sky was darker now. Yuri suggested. It wasn't a big deal, but I felt like I was being seduced. Uh, what's happening to me? I'll really get weird if I stay with him any longer. I refused adamantly on purpose. No, it's completely dark anyways. I'll head back. Good luck with finishing, and don't be too late. I put the ticket in my pocket and picked up my umbrella. Then I'll go. When I opened the door, I heard Yuri's voice behind me. Mm. Close the door without looking back. If I had looked back, he'd have seen my red face. <sighs> Close the door and checked the ticket in my pocket again. Band concert. When did he practice? It's interesting, but the guitar thing says Daydream Lance. Don't know what that means at all. <laughs> Maybe... I remembered he went out often these days. But every time was he... I don't know. <laughs> I tried to calm myself down as I went back home. You doing a secret band at night? Alright, now that we are back home, I will end the episode off there. So I'll see you next time. Bye!